many moons ago, with the forging of six golden symbols, magic returned to this land. But with it came the evil sorcerer Neva, intent on taking this power for himself. I stood against Neva as the land's protector, training the ultimate champions for the day when we would face them in the ultimate battle. When that day came, we defeated Neva. But knowing my power, he had forged golden symbols of his own, and the spell that was cast to banish him reflected back, sending us both to a far-off, desolate realm. Only one champion feared Nevar's return. She sought the six golden symbols lost in the battle, and with them recovered my staff of power. Transformed by its magic, she became the new protector of this land. But she cannot stop Nevar alone. With the first of the true warriors standing against Nevar, now we must find the second to join them. Sixteen of the bravest and most worthy have answered my call. To succeed in the quest ahead, they must show courage, strength, agility, and resourcefulness. Who will conquer my challenges? Who will reach the grand tournament? Who will be named the second of my true warriors? My name is Raven. Like the challenges, begin. sorcery has allowed his demons through into our land. It will take a true warrior to rid us of this scourge and free this land once more. Out across the deep walk come another four brave challengers, but Navar's demons are already pursuing them. They must dig deep and beat these cursed creatures across the deep walk to their warrior's banners. Only then can their quest really begin. Quickly now, the demons are drawing close. The warriors are doing well, but they aren't safe until they reach their banners. Quickly warriors! So four more warriors complete their journey to reach the challenges of the true warrior. Competing under the banner of the bear, powerful, curious and fierce, the bear may fight alone, but it remains forever loyal to friends. Let us hope our challengers are inspired by it. My name is Carthel. I'm an athletic warrior. I'm a fearless perfectionist. I'll work well with my teammates but I'm here to win. I'm Sarjan, a famed athlete. I'm fast and agile. I'm going to smash this challenge. I will be the true warrior. My name is Tailson. The spirit of the bear runs through me and I will battle under its banner. I'm a fearless warrior and will use all my skills to win. My name is Althan. I'm so excited to be here and can't wait to smash this quest. These four warriors must complete many challenges, but only three of them will face the last stand. The winner will join Kahira and Soteo in the Grand Tournament. Welcome, brave warriors. Elthan, Sorjan, Carpel, Teosan, you have travelled far and overcome much to reach here. But though you beat Navar's demons to the shore and banished them back to their masters, your quest is only just begun. From now on, you are competing against your fellow warriors for the chance to become 
the true warrior. For some, the journey will end all too soon and you will return to defend your homelands. For others, the road will lead to the last stand. The legendary trials that crown this heat's challenges. And it is only the warrior who conquers this race who will go through to the grand tournament. As thanks for making this perilous journey, I will give you each a horde of six rings. Succeed in the challenges and you will earn more rings. Suffer defeat and you will surrender your treasures. These rings are more than mere trinkets. Forged from ancient gold, protected by magic, these treasures will determine your fate. For the warrior with the lowest number of rings will leave this quest first. And when the time comes, the warrior with the most shall have the greatest advantage and the last stand. For all my magic, I cannot see who amongst you will be named as a true warrior. Only the challenges will decide that. Now come, Navar and his demons will not have given up this chase. They will never be far behind us. And you must complete your endeavors before he gathers his forces. The quest to become a true warrior begins now. Are you ready to face it? Yes, Raven! Then follow me, my young friends, and we shall see what fate has in store. Warriors, we owe our freedom to those who came before us. Now, we must ask more of those brave warriors who battled the demons in the past. Here, on this ancient battleground, Navar's demons have come to claim you. Your only way past these vile creatures is to call upon the spirits of these brave warriors to assist you. To do this, you must reassemble their petrified remains. Do so, and the warrior spirit will shine forth, destroying any demons blocking your way. But beware, for only the first warrior to succeed will prevail. For then, the demon will awake, and its foul gaze will fall upon the remaining warrior. Warriors to my left, how do you feel about this challenge? I feel quite calm because you need to have good focus but also be quite fast. I'm pretty determined because I love puzzles. Warriors to my right? I feel determined and confident because I like logic. I feel quite nervous about this challenge as mental challenges aren't my strong point but I will try my best. Warriors, do you stand ready to face this challenge? We, we stand, stand ready. ready. Then let the challenge begin. <laughs> Ancient warriors, cursed into stone, now shattered by Navar. If our warriors can assemble them, they can battle the demons once more. Take care, young warriors. Each piece will only fit one way. A mistake now, and the statue cannot be completed. It seems these warriors have taken the wrong piece. With time running quickly, they must act, or both will fall to the demons. These warriors are quite literally neck and neck.
Little separates these warriors. But Tailsan wins. Elthan pays the price. I found the challenge hard because Elthan was very fast. Return, worthy warrior. Navar shall not imprison you this day. I found it quite hard playing against Tailsan because I fiddled with the spear at the end and missed the hole. To win felt amazing because it was a really close match. To lose a ring is really disappointing, but I'm going to do my best on the next challenge. Karpel and Zorjan are next to try this challenge. How to fit here, how to fit there. Could these warriors be as mistaken as their fellow bears? These warriors are closely matched. The spear is home. Carpel has defeated the demons, and Sorjan is sent to Nevar's realm. Those soldiers was a really hard challenge and it was really close, but I'm glad I triumphed in the end. Return, Sorjan. Your quest is not yet done. During the challenge, I thought I did very well, but Carpel's height gave her an advantage. I think the nerves just got to me and I forgot which way the pieces go. So I was trying to slot things in, which I think wasted a bit of time. But I think um, it all paid off in the end. Elthan, Sorjan, you showed skills, but lacked in speed. The price of this is one golden treasure ring from your precious trove. Tailsan, Carpel, you summoned the ancient warrior spirits. For defeating the demons, you each win a golden treasure ring. Now come warriors, time runs short. With the challenge of the stone soldiers complete, Carpel and Tailsan earn a ring, giving them each seven in their hordes. Defeated by the demons and returned from Navar's cursed realm, Sorjan and Elfan each lose a ring and so have just five in theirs. Navar's attempt to stop the warriors will not be his last. I flew on to seek a safe path for the warriors. A demon stone. Navar knows I'm here. There are too many of them. I don't have the magic to fight them all. By smashing the demon stone, I broke Navar's curse and sent some of his vile servants back to his realm. But this is just one small victory in a much larger battle. We must stay alert. Warriors, I hope you have your wits about you, for you are about to walk Riddle Rocks, placed here to protect the towns and villages ahead. This path can only be crossed with the answering of a riddle, spelling out the solution by stepping from rock to rock. Riddle it right and reach the end, and you will take one gold ring each. Mistake the answer and walk the wrong path and you will each 
Where is the ring from your hoard? Teosan, Sorjan, your task is to solve this riddle together. Find the answer it requires, and then one of you must walk the path. Are you ready to face the riddle of the rocks? Yes, yes Raven. And I start the sand now. This ancient invention allows people to see through walls. What is it? This ancient invention allows people to see, see through, through walls. walls. I think I saw camera written on the rocks, but they don't go through walls. Is it a, a window? Do you think it's a window? This ancient invention allows people See through, through walls. Oh yeah, it's a window, isn't it? Yeah. So let's so W I N D O yeah. So if you go down there to the W. Let's just have a little thing, we've got loads of time. Yeah, Playing else, safe can be wise. Dallying mm. an unwanted delay. Yeah, let's go for window. So if you step on the W in the middle. Yeah. And look at Yeah. And I think yeah, do you oh yeah, there's the D. So you step on that one, yeah. O should be in front of you. And I think the W's in the middle. Yeah, okay, cool. These young warriors spoke wisely. Yeah. We thought the challenge would be quite hard, but we actually found it very easy. Whilst I was walking uh, through these stones, I felt very nervous because one missed foot place were vanished by the demons. Getting another ring feels amazing because we're one step closer to being the ultimate warrior. Carpel, Elthan, you must follow the same rule. Are you ready to face the riddle of the rocks? Yes, yes Raven. Raven. I shall start the sand now. Well, come on. With a halo of water and a tongue of wood, Stone as skin long, I stood. What am I? Mm. What is a uh... So isn't a halo like around your head? Yeah, but could be like um a waterfall. Could be a waterfall. But that's not six letters, I don't think. No. I think we have to think outside the box for this one. You wanna go check the stones? It seems this riddle has our warriors scratching their heads. Castle? Castle. Only where they've got. Yeah, because the tongue of wood would be the drawbridge. The um, yeah. stone would be the walls. And the um, stone long stone, I yeah. stood would be um, since medieval times. So I think it's castle. You go. An answer. But is it so, right? And can they be fast enough across the rocks? Yeah. Ow. Come on, E. E. A riddle was asked. A riddle was answered. Yes. We found the challenge quite hard and difficult to figure out, but once we saw the castle on the rocks, uh, it became quite easy and we understood it. I'm really happy we were paired together for this challenge because we make a great team. With the Riddle Rocks answered, both teams earned one more golden treasure ring each. Carpel and Tailsan keep their lead, with Sorjan and Elthan close behind on six rings each. Let us go to the next test. Follow me, warriors. Demons roam every corner of this land. Our only way forward is to brave the dead man's gorge. Here in Dead Man's Gorge, a watery grave awaits the unweary in the chill waters of the raging rivers below. It's not a way forward I choose easily, for I know the dangers it represents. But time is pressing, 
So each warrior must show their courage and jump down into the icy flow below. Carried downstream, you will reach a pool where a demon is waiting in ambush. Warriors, as you navigate your way down this torrent, you must grasp at least one of the golden treasure rings that hang above you. Do this, and the demon cannot harm you. But any warriors who fail to grasp the treasure will forfeit a ring from their horde and so harm their chances of becoming a true warrior. The river awaits. Are you ready to plunge into its icy waters? Yes, yes Raven. Raven! Then let the challenge begin. Sorjan is first into the waters and misses the first ring. He must take another. He has it! With one ring in his grasp, Sorjan passes the demon safely. I wasn't happy with my jumping because I didn't get the ring, but I'm over the moon that I got a ring. Tail San, stand ready. A second ring. A third. Three rings and an escape from the demons for Tailsan. I'm really excited, I'm really happy with this. The easiest ring to catch was the first one. When I got my hand on that second ring, I was never going to let go. I've got three rings. Yeah! Tailsan, step forward. Third ring missed, but two are already in his clutches. A brave effort. Elthan finishes with two more rings. I had loads of adrenaline when I jumped in, but it was it was really cold and my body just froze. I found the second ring really hard and it used up most of my energy pulling it down. Carpel, begin! One ring seized. A second. Now level with Tailsan with three. A fourth. And the fifth ring. Carpel seizes all the rings available. I got all five. I was so relieved because I was really scared. My heart was really, really fast and I had loads of dead to get all the rings. Taking five treasure rings from Dead Man's Gorge, Carpel takes the lead at the end of day one. With three rings, Tailsan moves up to 11, securing second place. With two rings, Elthan ends on eight, pulling away from Sorjan, who finishes on seven.
Warriors, we have reached the end of today's journey. Since you crossed the deep lock and banished Navar's demons, all four of you have proven yourself determined and courageous. Now, you can rest. Take advantage of this time, for on the sun's rise comes the next great challenge. And at the end of tomorrow, the warrior with the fewest rings will leave this quest and return home. Navar's demons will be seeking us, but you shall be safe here under my protection. Gather your strengths, for soon your quest begins again. We will discover which of you can become a true warrior. Next time on Raven, these brave warriors continue in their quest. And at the end of the day, one of them will return to their homeland.